رول در اینترو Yo, what up people? Welcome to another episode of Unlimited Dialogues with your boy, with your host, always doing the most. Yeah, maze karibuni tena, karibuni to the marathon. I told you guys, maze, it's a marathon, yani. This month, yani, name another podcaster that is dropping content as fast as I am dropping content. I'll wait. Name in the comment section. There is nobody giving you content this much. This month, you guys prepare, prepare. It's coming. Yeah, maze, mkoaje, mkopoa. Yeah, maze. Last episode we were talking about threads. So how how is you guys' new experience on threads? I told you guys to try the app out and see how it is. For those guys who have never been on Twitter, this is your chance now to to do. You know, let's go there. Let's engage. Yeah, I'm sure you're going to like it. For me, my experience so far on threads, you know. To me threads feels like uh you know. You know Twitter is like uh like your wife and then threads is like your your side chick, you know. For me personally, that's how I've been feeling. So I've been on threads more than I've been on Twitter, so I felt like I'm cheating on my wife Twitter. So I don't know. So far But I'm still on Twitter though, but not as much as I am on Threads because you know Threads is so much entertaining. Yeah, it's so funny. For those people who have uh, side chicks and, and wives, they will understand what I mean when I when I say that. I feel like I'm cheating when I'm on Threads than on Twitter. You know. Anyway, it's fun. I've been liking it. My experience is nice. You know, um, posting this content. Every content here is going on Threads too, so you guys catch it up on Threads. you know yeah man so today i want us to talk about entertainment based issues today's issues are entertainment based you know what's been trending on the blogs and you know social platforms so today um i'll i'll first of all i will start with the most trending uh, topic on twitter yes the most trending topic on twitter right now is the Jugush the comedian Jugush versus the Juakali uh beef I don't think it's a beef yet it's not yet a beef but you know uh we know uh comedian Jugush to me first of all I'll start by saying uh Jugush is one of the funniest comedians in this country point blank period to me Jogosh is one of the funniest comedians in Kenya. So, uh, let's start with that. Let's put that out there first of all. Second of all, Jogosh has been having a very uh very successful you know comedy stand up. Uh you know he has been doing stand up for the past I think since the pandemic. He has really went out of his uh box, you know, the skits box. So he went out of that and he started doing uh stand up and actually I commend him for that because as a comedian who was doing skits people never took him serious you know people only considered stand up as comedy uh, the people who do skits you know some comedians were really not uh taking them serious So I feel like for somebody who was doing skits to do to to doing stand up now that's a big step very very big step ahead. So uh I want to congratulate uh, Jugush for that and he has been having a uh, successful stand up shows. If you have been watching the TT I think through thick and thin Yeah, the the gigs that he always does, you know, the part one, two, three, and now he has done the fourth one. Yo, those are the funniest stand-up shows I've ever seen in this country. Apart from Churchill show, those shows are one of the brilliant, uh, you know, the writing on the jokes, another level. 
to the delivery of the jokes another level i never really thought that he could pull such uh, things off but he pulled them off so i really really uh, give him you know uh, salute and props to the gigs and um i like what he's doing now he's currently on a tour in europe you know that's really big once again i commend him for that so lately jogush has been catching a lot of hate i don't know why again i don't know why because the guy has been doing really well you know so his previous uh gig the ttnt uh people have been saying that he's not funny yes i i i really don't know why people have been and it's all on twitter like you know twitter people are very negative and i always see you know the most haters in this world are in twitter i'm not gonna lie the most haters in this world are in twitter people always have something to say about you no matter what you do so Jogush has been catching a lot of flack lately. Uh, you know, people saying his latest gigs have not been funny. Or they are saying uh, he's, he should be doing skits. He should quit, you know. Just the, the most derogatory um, thing that you can say to somebody that is on the come up is crazy to me. And also, the other thing that I saw and I didn't appreciate... From the moment I saw that tweet, is this tweet from one of the most respectable, legendary musicians in this country. And this tweet is from Joakali. Joakali, the moment I saw this tweet, I did not look at him the same way. Because... I expect you as a legend, as a pioneer, one of the pioneers of the industry, I will not expect you to kick somebody down, you know, especially from the same um, realm of entertainment. Somebody that you've seen their, their beginnings and you as a legendary musician to say that somebody is not funny that's unrespectable i mean the moment i saw juakali tweet that i lost all respect for him as a as a legend i can never never support any man that kicks another man down i can never support that it doesn't matter whether you are a musician you could be a regular human being, but the moment I see you bashing another person, I can never be, I can never respect you again. My respect goes out of the window the moment I see you bashing another person. And especially when you are older than that person. Like, when you are in your 40s, and you're bashing a 20 year old i just i just look at you different like i don't expect you to do that you know and um the fact that you know the the reason why this uh, thing is even an issue is not just because somebody was bashing somebody was saying that uh such and such is not funny no it's a fact that the person who said it is a very, very respectable um, musician. To some, he is considered a legend in the industry. That is the reason why this thing is even an issue right now. Why would Joa Kali say such hideous words to somebody that is now um, you know he's doing well uh it all it almost look as if he's you know it looks like you're hating on 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 the brother man I, I, I i'm sorry but it looks like you're hating and 
this message like i just want to put this out there i don't care if juakali sees this or if he doesn't i'm sure i'm not the only person with such uh 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 opinions right now like they are if you go out there you're going to see people with similar opinions that, like i am because i don't really ex you know in this industry i expect the people who are up there to motivate and pull the people that are the come up i don't expect to see artists successful artists bashing the upcoming artists i don't like seeing that and now when i see a legendary artist you know bashing a comedian it it baffles me i just don't get it especially the fact that you know how hard it is to make people laugh like comedy is not a joke people out here think that comedy is easy do you know how hard it is for 3000 people to get out of their houses to come to your show and make them laugh that's not easy man and musicians and the fact that it's a musician that is saying that that's the craziest thing to me a musician that has no clue of how comedy is a musician that cannot make anybody laugh saying some unheard of comments it's it looks like you're straight hating i don't respect that i don't respect that and this goes to anybody out there that you are bashing comedian jukush for the amazing work he's doing right now he's on tour you are now now you are you are you are trying to mess up his bag now because now he's on tour if you start putting uh, such comments out there that he's not funny uh, you're going to stop him from getting bookings you know it doesn't look good it doesn't look good and this is the problem with this industry the industry the kenyan industry does not grow because the moment somebody is elevating a bit somebody from the same industry is trying to pull them down that is the only reason why this industry doesn't grow this industry will continue being this way because of jealousy and envy people does people don't like seeing other people going up the moment you're going up somebody is going to pull you down in this industry the reason why the music industry right now is lagging is because no artist wants to work with another artist everybody is jealous of the other if somebody sees that you're more talented than them they don't want to work with you because they know that you're going to outshine them i mean what sort of mentality is that people should be working together so that they can showcase each other's uh, talent but people don't want to work together because they're jealous that if i put the spotlight on that person he's going to outshine me and he's going to leave me that is the most devilish mindset i've ever seen and that is the mindset that people have in this kenyan industry right now this music industry doesn't go anywhere people don't want to work with each other people don't want to collab because they're in fear of the other person outshining them it's crazy to me look at the other industries in africa look at the tanzanian industry people out there so collaborative people working together putting uh, stuff out together everybody is pulling the other person up there is no such jealous mindset but it's only in kenya way where musicians uh, comedians don't want to give props don't want to shine light on other people because of jealousy and envy people want to be on top by themselves they don't want to pull other people along with them and that's the only problem that is going to keep this industry down where it is right now yes and i've been saying this from the beginning of this podcast this industry has been down for the last 10 years this industry has never been up the nigerians are beating us the tanzanians are beating us the only people we claim to be above is the ugandans and the ugandans they have their own stuff the only reason why they are not uh, on the discussion is because they speak another language but if you look at the people that are speaking swahili tanzanian uh kenyans a little bit of rwandas and burundis and mozambique our kenyan industry is the lowest compared to these other people because of jealousy and greed
If people worked together, this industry will be somewhere far. And that is the only thing that is now, now you have, comedy used to do well in this country. My, mind you, comedy has been top. In East Africa, Kenyan comedy has been on the top. But now, I'm seeing musicians trying to keep this comedy industry down because their industry is down by bashing these comedians. Now you want to demotivate them because comedy is still top. No, no artist is touring Europe apart from Saudi Soul in this country. Now that we are seeing comedians going to tour Europe, now we want to pull them down. That is like, that's, that's, a, that's a devil mindset. What sort of mindset is that? So, Juakali, this message is purely for Juakali. Juakali, stop hating on the, on the, on the youngins, man. You are a legend. You are 40 plus years. You should be motivating these guys. You are hating on them. I don't know. Are you trying to get clout now? Now you've turned into a clout chaser now. Are you chasing clout? That, whatever you tweeted sounded like you're chasing clout, man. That doesn't sound genuine, my friend. I have no problem with people having their own opinion. You are entitled to have your own opinion. If you don't find somebody is funny, it's cool. But don't tweet it. For somebody with your stature, you should not be tweeting such things, man. You should be keeping them to yourself because your name holds weight. Now you've made, uh, you know, a whole discussion on the internet now. Everybody now starts to think that, you know, uh, Njugush is not funny. I mean, I give you props. You've gotten some clout. It's good, but what does that does what does that do to you? Has it built you? What do you think? So you build yourself by uh, destroying another man. That's how you build yourself by destroying and kicking another man. Well, if that's how you build yourself, my friend, eh, I cannot stand and support that. I don't believe in build, destroying another human being so that you can build yourself. Why don't you build yourself by building another human being? Man, I, I never supported that. The moment I saw that tweet, I was like, yo, I lost all respect for this human being, man. I lost all respect for this human being. I never look at him the same way, you know. If it's a cloud chasing move, go ahead. Do a cloud chasing, but just know uh, in, uh, the respect is, is, is done, man. Respect is done. Man, let's let's build it, this industry by building other people up, and let's not kick other people down. As a musician, as a comedian, we lift by lifting others. We rise by lifting others. We rise by lifting others. We don't rise by pushing other people down. That's not the way to go. And if there's anybody out there, especially you, Twitter fingers. You people who are tweeting behind a keyboard negatively about other people while yourself, you haven't done anything to do. You haven't lifted anything in your life and you're out there tweeting, kicking other people. You need to stop that, man. You people need to stop that right away. It's not the way to go. It's not the way to go. Yeah, man. So today I just felt like I had to get that out my chest because I was seeing all these shenanigans going on on the internet and I was like surprised. I never expect why this industry has been kicked down, uh, you know, enough times for us to keep doing it. You know, we should we should be lifting our comedians. We should be lifting our artists. We should be lifting you know, our sportsmen, you know, for the better of this country. We should not be kicking anybody down, man. Yeah, man, you know, and the the other thing is, the, the, the only reason why I've been, I've been this passionate about this topic is because, you know, Jogush is one of my favorite comedians. That's why I speak with this much passion. Jogush is one of my favorite comedians. I have watched all of Njugu's shows from the first TTNT to the fourth Through Thick and Thin. Yeah, Through Thick and Thin, TTTT. So, let's be positive, guys. Let's not be negative. And uh, with that being spoken, 
uh that has been it for today see you guys on the next one